guys, this is Momastafa here, author, speaker, coach, and welcome to another edition of Motivated Muscle, where we address the mindset issues to help you burn stubborn body fat and add lean muscle. And in this video, I want to address a question that I had from one of the my YouTube subscribers by the name of Daniel, and he says here, hey Mo, um, maybe could you make a video on how to pers uh, persevere when you're feeling extremely discouraged? He says he's uh, 40 years of age, 48 years of age, and um, has never had really any lasting success with a fitness program um, at any point of his life due to giving into pessimism and hopelessness. Um, and basically, mindset is where he says he struggles, and he was just hoping that I could maybe address um, some ways to maybe overcome this challenge that he's having. So first of all, Daniel, I just want to say thank you very much for your comment and your question. So I'm going to uh, do my best here to try and address some of the some of the challenges that you're having. And I say challenges in quotes here because I don't want to say that use the, the language of problems or whatever, because that in itself um, starts adding a negative undertone to it. <clears throat> so that's really my first point here I want to start off with Daniel here is it's very important that we um, we start using positive language okay now I noticed you mentioned here uh, something in your your question you say given in to pessimism and hopelessness and very often this uh, pessimistic mindset comes from looking at the negative side of things or why something won't work compared to why it could work or what if it does work so what i'd like you to do is just grab a pen and paper and just write down on a piece of paper the the question what if it does work okay i want to write that down what if it does work and i'm i'm addressing not just yourself daniel here but actually everyone in this video um who's watching this video but basically when you start asking yourself that question what if it does work you are directing your brain uh, into a new direction. Your, your questions will dictate the direction of our focus. And we're always asking ourselves questions. So if you ask yourself, yeah, what if this doesn't work? Yeah, your mind will basically open up a filing cabinet and start looking for a mental, through this mental final filing cabinet and find all sorts of reasons uh, and all sorts of problems that may occur if this doesn't work. So say you decided you're going to go on a six month training program and you have to invest, I don't know, a thousand pounds to get coaching or a personal trainer. If you're approaching it from what if this doesn't work, which is a fair enough question to ask, but if you're approaching it purely from that angle, you're going to look at it as, wow, I've, I'm going to lose six months of my time. I'm going to lose a thousand pounds of my money. I'm going to lose out on other things that I could have been doing with that time as well. And and you can really expand on that and it can grow and grow and grow. Now, if we ask the question the other way around and we say to ourselves, what if this does work? What if this does pay off? How will my life be different then? Now we're going into the possibilities realm. We're going into, I get to look better. I get to feel better. I have much more energy. I get to be more energetic in life. I get to build new relationships with people and connect with people at a deeper level because I've got more energy and I'm more outgoing. I get to be stronger. So things where in the past I may not have the strength to do or, or you know, playing with my nieces and nephews or something and being out of breath, that won't be a problem anymore. Also, I get to potentially live longer. Yeah. So when you go into that, that expands and expands. And, and what would living longer mean to you if you could have an extra 20 years on your life expectancy because you start training and, and getting rid of all this unhealthy body fat or whatever it might be you know we can't guarantee nobody can guarantee how long we're going to live none of us know how long we're going to live right but if we look after our bodies and we're healthier and we're energetic and we're happy and joyful at the same time we are far more likely to live longer because we're less going to be less stressed and we're going to be less likely to get ill and less likely to be overweight compared to, you know, if we're exercising and we're, we're burning body fat, right? So it's very important that we watch our dialogue, our mental dialogue, and that we ask ourselves constructive questions. There's nothing wrong with looking at the one side of the coin, the, the negatives, if you like, 
but also make sure that you balance that out with looking at the positives. Okay. Now here's the thing when it comes to time, because we're always worried about wasting time, right? But the time is going to pass anyway. So we don't really get to choose whether it passes or not. All we can choose is how we use the time we have, right? So for example, say getting in shape, you had to allocate, I don't know, half an hour to an hour a day to exercise. That hour is going to go regardless if you exercise or sit down and watch TV, right? Whether we use it for something constructive or unconstructive, if you like. So, if the time is going to pass anyway, you can't really waste the time. You can only choose how you want to use the time. So, if you decide you're going to exercise, you're going to have a far higher probability of there being a positive outcome than, say, if we watch TV. Okay? Like, we've got to watch what's going into our minds. If we're watching, um, I'd, I'd ask you, because obviously I don't know a lot about your circumstances, but one of the things I found in the past is that if I was um, watching television a lot, I'm watching the news, I'm watching, you know, you know, daytime TV, the kind of stuff where they just, you know, it's just gossip and I'm putting people down and these, these TV shows where people are, you know, spilling their, their life problems and, and the whole audience engaging with it. All that is, is creating a negative mindset in us, okay? And the more we allow this to go on, the harder it is going to be to break that pattern. So we need to break it. We need to break it ideally as early as possible. But if not, we just need to start looking to break it and start minimizing the amount of negative input we have into our mind. Now, if you take those negative help, um, influences out of your mind, you basically have an empty cup, right? But what you want to do to make it more powerful is you now want to fill that cup with positive messages. So on my website, I put a link below. You can go to there's a page about motivation. So there'll be a page, it's, it's, it's my domain name, forward slash motivation, just click on the motivation button. And there's a load of videos. And what I found that really helped me was to watch those videos over and over and over and over again, till I literally positively indoctrinated myself with positive mindsets, okay? Now that term indoctrination is, is a neutral, it's, a, it's just a word, right? But people have different perceptions to it. We can use it for good or for bad, right? Just like you can use money for good or for bad. Um, it's just an idea of how we can train our brain. So we want to train our brain in a positive way, in a way that basically leads to a positive outcome. Okay, so for myself, um, I'm going to grab a sip here, I got my coffee. It says, uh, good morning, beautiful. It's not my cup, it's my wife's. But uh, I like it. So... We want to be looking at uh, creating positive mindsets in ourselves. And the hardest thing to do is to try and just do it for, by yourself. If, if we're in a negative place, it's very hard for us to positively motivate ourselves. Because it's like being an alcoholic and then trying to just give up alcohol by themselves. If they go and get help and they admit that they have a problem, for example, then they can get support and then they can get off the alcohol, if that makes sense. And the same is with negative thought patterns. If we um, if we don't um, put positive messages in there when our mind is full with negative messages, it's going to be very, we're making it harder than it has to be. Okay, so that would be another thing I would say to you. So ask yourself the question, what if this does work? What if this does work? What are the benefits to you? And everyone else who's watching this video, what if the training program you're interested in doing, whatever program it might be, you know, I've got a resource page with a load of different books I recommend and stuff that I've personally used, but you can just choose whatever program that you feel is right for you. But you have to ask yourself, what if that program works? What are the benefits to me? And what, why should I do this program? What, what am I going to get out of this? Yeah. So that's an important point. The next thing is you want to start using positive messages in your mind. You want to use positive messages to reprogram your mind from negative to positive, okay? And anytime you hear a negative message coming up in your mind, you want to cancel that message. You want to say to yourself, cancel, you like literally say it out loud if you have to, you just cancel the message and you replace it with something positive, okay? 
Now, another very, very powerful thing you can do, there's, there's tons of things, but another powerful thing you can do, very powerful thing, is start associating with people who have the lifestyle that you'd like to get to when it comes to your body. Get around people who are in shape. If you're associating, if we associate with people who are out of shape, it's going to be very hard for us to get in shape. We're making it harder than it needs to be. Yeah. I don't know if you've ever done this, but years ago, you know, uh, growing up, I used to drink, used to smoke and stuff. And if I was trying to give up smoking or give up drinking, it was going to be a nightmare if I was going to hang around with the same people who were still smoking and drinking. Right. So I had to start associating with people who didn't smoke and drink, where the positive peer pressure would force me into a situation where I would almost feel like, eh, I, this isn't really good for the the, gr the the group and for the, the group dynamic. So I would be encouraged to give up smoking, whereas if I'm in a negative environment, I'm going to be encouraged to go into that even further. So for everyone listening, be very aware of our... We should be very aware of our environment. Who are we surrounding ourselves with? And if we want to be healthy and we want to be strong and be in shape and all these other things, all these great benefits, then we need to find the people who share those values and associate ourselves with them. Now, you may not know somebody in your direct circle right now, but a way to get to overcome that for the time being is start listening to and start reading and start immersing yourself in the mindset of those individuals by using books by watching videos such as this, which is a great start. Um, and make sure you do it consistently. This is why I say to people, subscribe to my YouTube channel because one one video is not going to do it. It's going to make you feel good for the moment, but then you're going to go back down into your normal way of thinking. You have to break that cycle, and the way to do it is have consistent exposure to it. Okay, you, you know, So if you want to develop muscle, you don't go to the gym and just do one workout and then leave it. You don't, you know, just don't eat one healthy meal and leave it. You have to do the right thing consistently over time. And this is what is going to produce the results for us, okay? So what I would encourage you to do again is I'm actually giving away my mindset. I notice the, the lighting's a bit dark in here at the moment. But the, the mindset um, training I'm giving away for free on my website. I highly encourage everyone who's watching this video to click the link below Go and get signed up to the mindset training. It's going to show you the seven key pillars you must have if you are to get in shape permanently and naturally. So I hope this uh, video was of some value to you. And I really hope that you are going to take this, this on board and actually practice what I've said instead of intellectualizing it, which is another thing. Let's not intellectualize things for too long because it's a way of the mind escaping us taking action. It's almost like thinking about learning to drive but not actually getting in the car or thinking about going for a swim or going for a run but not actually going out and doing the running or the swimming. Okay, so hope you enjoyed this video. I will now leave it to it. Give it a thumbs up and please subscribe to my channel as well so you get future exposure to these messages and they will help transform you and help you burn stubborn body fat and add lean muscle. I'm Nessam Rastafa. See you guys very soon. Take care.